said, you haven't produced yet, but we think you might, and we're going to give you this and much money. And you've had five seasons and you've had to five do it. You know what? To do it. Let's settle this the simple way. Yeah, I can't think of it. I, I want to bring in. I want to bring in the voice of reason, Aditi Kinkwabala. Did I get it? Kinkwabala. Kinkwabala. Did I get it? Aditi, talk Aditi, to him. Aditi, help me. Talk to him. Help me. It's a great. Aditi, talk to him. It's a great deal. I know, but it's. I want to properly say your name for crying out loud. We need a tutorial. Fine, we'll take you got to straighten out G here. You know what's funny about it is that, well, whatever, we'll move on. Let's talk about Njoku because, quite yes. frankly, I do think that the Browns overpaid for him. I do not think he is the fifth best tight end in the NFL. And I'm a little bit flummoxed that the expectation is he will most definitely have this amazing chemistry with Deshaun Watson. They haven't even played together yet. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think that's the voice of reason right and, there. And here's the funny thing, Aditi. Like, I saw when, when, I, tw when I tweeted my reaction that I, w I thought this was a head scratcher, that so many people said to me, well, Deshaun Watson is going to make him a star. Well, if Deshaun Watson can make anybody a star, then what the hell am I going to pay this guy for? Right. But, and, Harrison and Bryant kind of the, can be that well, guy. And to that point, guys, we don't necessarily know. I mean, a player can be an amazing player and not necessarily have chemistry with somebody. We just saw that with Baker Mayfield and Odell Beckham Jr. versus Odell Beckham Jr. with Matthew Stafford. So yeah. just because they believe in Njoku, and he's never been that security blanket. When you think of these tight ends, when you think of what Heath Miller was to Ben Roethlisberger, when you think what Mark Andrews was, not only to Lamar Jackson, but then to Tyler Huntley, it is a security blanket. David Njoku has never been that guy. No, And, and so and, why do we suddenly expect him to be that guy with somebody that he's never played with? And, and my and example to that, too. Aditi, to, to your point, look at the talent that the Kansas City Chiefs have on offense. Look at the weapons right. they have. But when you go back and you think about these huge plays that the Chiefs have to pick up, it's third and 15, you almost know they're going to Kelsey. The defense almost and, knows I, they're going to Kelsey. And they go to Kelsey and they get the first down. If, if Njoku becomes that guy for the Browns, thank the Lord. I think this is a great deal. But he's never been that guy. I've seen nothing right. that tells me he's going to be that guy. And for that kind of money, I want that kind of security that you talked about and, and that Kelsey provides for the Chiefs. And I don't think we're going to get it. And Jay, when you look around the division, I mean, yes, obviously Mark Andrews. I'm a huge Mark Andrews fan. But the Steelers' rookie tight end, Pat Fryermuth, was almost more reliable and more money a year ago. I mean, clearly the Steelers felt very comfortable going to him, and he turned into a touchdown machine. That's what you want out of your tight end. And we just haven't seen Njoku do it yet. Is he capable of doing it? Sure. I mean, obviously, it was a first-round pick who came in lauded, who there were very high expectations for. And to some degree, your contract is for what you are promising, what your future is, as opposed to what you've already accomplished. So the Browns do believe that. I will say this, though. Austin Hooper is gone, and you were just talking about Austin Hooper maybe take cutting into some of his touches. But when I did that chalk talk with Kevin Stefanski a few weeks ago, just before I was in studio with you guys, he was specifically asked for one young player that he was looking to make a jump, and the one he named was Harrison Bryant. That's fascinating. A guy who plays the same position as yeah. Njoku. That's fa and, and they could have had Njoku on a tag for a year, and yeah. if he does become that guy, finally, in year six, then you pay right. him. You pay him. But there's, then uh, you pay to, him. To me, Agreed. there's no down. What is the downside to the move? That you're that you're he stays the guy that we saw the last five years. Below so, average so, player. So, so, so here's here's my could affect you signing somebody else next year. So here's the thing: you yeah. you sign Austin Hooper. He yeah. wasn't no good. You cut right. him after two years. Right? Did it hurt you? Yes. Yeah. But I, I mean, how, how, I mean, what, what what did it cost you in not getting someone else? Here's the thing, G. If not Hooper for that same chunk of money, we could have had a productive player that could have made the Browns a better so, team. So here's Hooper the thing. did not make the Browns a better so, team. So here's what he made you, us worse. And so that is why David and Joku and, and and Bryant are behind him, and they gave him the money because they said, "Hey, we're going to move on partly because you didn't do anything, but partly because we think David and Joku can be a bigger part of the offense." And I also look at this. Hmm. I, I always talk about this with quarterbacks, right? And, and and so it's either like they get all the credit or they get all the blame, right? right. So I'm going to ask myself, and I'll ask the panel, is it a coincidence Odell had the worst year of his life? No. Is it a coincidence Jarvis Landry had the worst year of his life? David Njoku's numbers are down. 
So well, well, wait a minute. In Landry's case, he was hurt, and the guy had never been hurt. Uh, I mean, he was hurt a couple years. What I'm saying is, it, it matters who's throwing you the football. I know, but Baker's been throwing to them for a couple of years. And and it, have they had crazy numbers? No, no, but did it matter when Tyler Huntley was throwing exactly. the ball to Mark, Mark Andrews? Andrews? It didn't. It didn't matter. Mark Andrews was still ridiculously productive. I don't. I. I just think that if you're a guy that catches the ball, you find a way to get open, you become a security blanket. Again, I'm using that same phrase that the quarterback feels he can feed the ball to you. And, and it, it just feels too easy to blame this on Baker or blame this on the offense a year ago. David Njoku has never had 60 catches. He's never had 1,000 yards. Heck, he's never even had 700 yards. And that's a problem. And Aditi, how many times did we see Baker throw the football to Njoku, hit him square right. in the mitts, and the ball ended up on the carpet? The yeah. I saw that a lot last I'll year, give, G. Bush. I'll, I'll, give you that. I'll give you about the drops. All I'm saying is this. Yeah. When you look at the money, you got Dallas Goddard, you got some of these other guys. Yeah. Is he Kelsey? No. Is he Kittle? No. But he's paid like them. But. As a coach, as an organization, everybody ain't going to come out an A-plus player. They believe that he has the raw materials to do what he needs to he's do. He's going into year and, six. But here's the thing. He's still young. Yeah, some tight ends develop. The only thing I'll say to G's argument is there are some tight ends that do develop late. It is a position that guys can develop late. It's true. But he I hasn't think, I think, developed yet. But he hasn't I mean, developed at all. Why are we paying him? Because we just think it's going to happen. Yeah, I don't. That's and that's the bottom so line. He, somebody said to me, "Well, he would have sat. He would have held out and not played on the franchise tag." That's the dumbest thing I ever heard in my life. That guy who's done, who's been a below average player, is going to pass up on a chance for eleven million dollars on a franchise. Aditi, day? there's no way he would have sat out. Aditi, you know this organization. Well, you you. Tell us what they're thinking, really. What do you? You tell us what you yeah, think. Why, why do, do you this? think they did this? Just out of curiosity. I don't. Well, you know what? I, I can't give you an answer to something that I don't understand at all. I do want to make one other point, though. You know, a player can get paid and then be so motivated to prove that he's worth every single penny. I would argue that TJ Watt did that a year ago. A player could be paid and he could get complacent. Do we know for sure that David Njoku is going to go out there every single day with the attitude a good that question. he gets I a little mopey? This insane contract yeah. that you've given me? Hey guys, we've got a history here. Where was Njoku with the organization a year ago? Pouting. 18 he months ago. He wanted to be traded. He wanted That's to be traded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's third he on the depth chart. <laughs> I uh, mean, I'll say this. The coach hasn't changed. Though. I'll say this. Aditi will be back. We will all be back. Book it. <laughs> but the rewind point, the tape. But gee, here's the way I want. I know. Put the put it <laughs> down. Rewind the, the tape when David and Joku balls out. But even when if he, he does, does it, I still think it was a bad move. Why? You can't. Because that's not what possible. Was, why not wait till he does it before you pay him? Because that's not the way white life work. You you don't get paid based on like here's the thing. Every we 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 even project our husband and wives. When you, when you don't marry your wife today. We didn't project with Baker. Well, no, hold on. Smart hold on, hold on. You want to go Bush there. in three days. No, so no, no, no. Uh, you can't go you there. project. <laughs> when, you see, when you see somebody, they're not a finished product. Product. What, you, what you're saying is, okay, can you raise children? So you're I marrying think, on potential. It's a potential. <laughs> she <laughs> has potential to be a hell of a woman. And, yeah, and, and, and actually, she married me on potential. Sometimes. <laughs> that's what happened. That's what I'm talking about. The problem is, too. sometimes you get a Dogecoin. Yeah, and then it's worthless and just goes under. Aditi, um, imagine if we were having this conversation just for one second. Imagine if the Browns were to give Baker Mayfield a deal like this that would make him the fourth or fifth highest paid quarterback in the NFL after what we've seen from, from what, four years? And all of a sudden now we think, oh, he's got a big upside. He's got big potential. This city would have lost their mind if yep. after last year they would have signed Baker. They already did. To they the already, fourth. No, they didn't. They gave him a T, and they can't get off the eight. But I'm talking about making him the fourth highest paid for an extension. Like they just did with David and Joker. Look, I've said this over and over again that I really believe in Andrew Barry. I think Andrew Barry is one of the smartest, brightest minds in the National Football League. But quite frankly, I don't get this. And the next time I see him, I'll tell him. I mean, tell I'm him. sure he's watching right now, right, guys? He does he watch. Oh, he's huge. He's huge fan. Fan. He's on it next. Sense to me. It really doesn't. And I would actually venture to say, I would rather have Mark Andrews and I would rather have Pat Fryermuth 
if you're going around the division. Well, gosh, I, I can't even remember who the Bengals tight end Bengals is now that I, I signed. Uh, what's his name? Who used to be on the Ravens? Um, and then he went to Atlanta last year. Oh, Hayden Hurst. Hurst. Hayden yeah. Hurst. Oh, yeah, they lost their tight yeah, end, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, he's but gone. Uzama went to the Jets. Yeah. yeah. When you go around the division right now, you really think, besides G, because G clearly thinks that David Njoku is going to have the best season of any tight end ever in the history of the <laughs> no. National Football. <laughs> but you really think that he's going to be better than Friermuth yes. and Mark Andrews? I don't. Oh, no way. I would take he's him better than Friermuth. Friermuth. Andrews, no. no. I think Friermuth, it, it could go either way. I'm not completely sure. Well, he's got a new Friermuth. quarterback now there, too. There so you we'll go. See. Yeah, but he's not any good either. Uh, <laughs> uh, but <laughs> he's so dismissive. It's, it's a flat out embarrassment. Anybody that would have a conversation about whether David Njoku is better than Mark Andrews is embarrassing themselves. Oh, well, yeah. What we've seen, do that. What we've seen so far, which is a large yeah. enough sample size, not even in the same zip code. Yeah. But pay wise, he's just beneath. Yeah. Mark Andrews is the best tight end in football now. He's better than Kittle. He's better than Kelsey. I still like I, Kelsey. I still a think lot. he's. I, mean, I think isn't he's the best. Is this all irrelevant? Aren't they still just going to run the ball? I mean, really, Nick Chubb better get the most touches. That's okay. how I feel about it. So, Aditi, you know what? If that's Regardless. the case, like, it's even more head scratching. Can't Right, because he's not really a great blocker. No. This isn't like. Now, if he, if, tight end that you really desperately need in the run game. And, exactly. and by the way, outside of Kelsey, all those other tight ends making money, those other three guys are all with teams with the quarterbacks on a rookie contract. Andrews, mm. right, right, right. Uh, Goddard and Philly. They got Jalen Hurts, who they'll probably get rid of after this year, and then uh, who, who we forget Kittle. They are, they, Look, they got the best case scenario, gee, I'll give you this, is Njoku proves us wrong and proves you right. And he comes out and he balls out and he shows that he's worth every penny. I'm just saying right now, considering what he has produced and how long he's had to produce and take that step, we haven't seen it yet. So hey, that's did, why. I'm going to ask Didi this. What, 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 what does his numbers have to look like this year for you to say it's a good contract? What, what would he have to, what, what, what would the Kelsey. bar be? For 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 Njoku. Ten touchdowns, a thousand yards. Yep. Yeah, I'll take that because that's yeah, what okay. you're paying him for. Okay. He, mm-hmm. th- that's the kind of contract that he. Yeah, okay, I don't want no. If he gets seven seventy with six touchdowns, uh, that's fine. That's yeah, but quality that's not tight end number numbers for but, tight end right, money. Yes. Uh, Aditi, have you talked to right. any of your colleagues? What what are what are those in the national media or other GMs? If you've talked to anybody, are they making the fun league? of us? What are they saying about the, yeah. <laughs> What are they saying about this move? Because it's such a well. T- you know, I I do radio in Pittsburgh every Monday, and okay. it was actually even though the Steelers just named a new general manager and have rebuilt their entire front office and have bid adieu to somebody that's been there a long time. We spent a good chunk of time yesterday actually talking about the Njoku deal. And And this is unfortunately one of those things. I think in the rest of the division, the other three cities like to poke fun at what Cleveland does. And this is the time of year where it's not. That's ridiculous. But here's the thing. Uh, Pony and all those guys on the fan in Pittsburgh, they sound like fools right now because they're hyping up Mitch Trubisky and Kenny Pickett. They sound like Browns fans for until the last couple of years. I mean, they really do. They don't know what it's like to be looking for a quarterback in Pittsburgh. We'll I heard, some. wasn't it Pony that was going on and on about how good Pickett is? No, oh, Pony loves Pickett. Oh Pony God. is just is, all in on the Kenny Pickett train. He is train. lost in the You know soup. what, Trubisky's going to start the season. And they both stink, and neither one's going to be any good. And pick, Boy, I hope on. you're right. Pickett's Brandon Whedon take Yeah, two, but you know what? Younger. I think Mike Tomlin thinks, here's what it is. Mike Tomlin yeah. thinks that he can play great defense, no. run the ball, no. and have he's a quarterback wrong. that doesn't make mistakes. Adidi, he's wrong. He, he's, he, he's wrong. They didn't play great defense last year. <laughs> the only reason they finished over 500 is because Mike Tomlin is a magical coach, and the fans there are idiots for wanting him fired. Because if they had just a, if they had any Browns coach, they would have won five games last year. Because Roethlisberger stinks, both those quarterbacks stinks. Najee Harris is overrated. Their offensive Dang. line stunk last year. Although Najee, I think they've improved. Najee. He's overrated. He's, he's, he's fine. He's no, fine. He's not a top ten running the back in the league. Directly. He's fine. He just got more touches than other guys. That's why he put up big See, numbers. See, that's the difference between a Bengals fan and a Browns fan. Yeah, you can do that and not be afraid that those words are going to come back. Why? To haunt you. I like the Bengals. Browns have a history fans of being can't good. do that because I am a. Ha- we- we I am a half better. Browns fan, and I'm speaking for all Browns but fans. But I, I just, I, I can't, I can't the imagine. Steelers the should Browns, have been over under right. 500 last year. They will Wait be minute, this how year. How are you a half Browns fan? How does that work? He's I not. root for them when they're not playing the Bengals. I root for the Browns. He's not. He's a Bengals fan. You I can't root, root for the for Browns the... to win, except when they're playing the Bengals. You I can. do. I want them to win every other game. 
I just, I, I, I'm not. I want the Bengals to go 17-0 and the Browns to go 15 The Bengals are uh, set up to have another great year. Are you worried about a slump? You worried about uh, I'd be worried you know, about repeating what you did last I'm year. I'm worried about the defense regressing because I think the defense overachieved. I'm not worried about the offense will be even better. Joe Burrow, I wouldn't trade him for any player in football. I wouldn't trade Jamar Chase for any wide receiver in football. Neither would I. And their offensive line is sig- – the, the only weakness on their offense was their line, and they start signed three – one excellent and two good offensive linemen. They now have four legitimate starters – where they had and, last year, didn't, they had and didn't have to guarantee money beyond. I mean, Duke Tobin did right. business the They're way very the Bengals smart with those contracts. Business, They're very smart him. with those. I give him I credit. think you need to watch that Jesse Bates thing, though, Adam. I think you need to see is he signing that tag? Is he not? Are they getting a deal play. done? What I don't happens, think he'll then? play on. The, well, I mean, he'll play on the tag, but he'll hold out from the whole offseason, though. And training. Well, I but he'll play. See, they all play. back end made that defense really go. The chemistry, yes. the way that that back Especially end played that second Especially in the and playoffs. that has so much to do with Jesse Bates and Von Bell yeah. right there. By the way, I, I'm going to say this. I know people go, Ooh, uh, but if Kenny Pickett were black, nobody would be excited about him right now. <laughs> Gee, you know this. Throwing down no, takes. Nobody would be excited. Wow. People, people oh, throwing are, him down. He's older white quarterback. He's steady. That's another word of saying he's white. I mean, come on. People love these older white quarterbacks. Gee, Get you know, them. Like, Wait, I no, this know, Pickett? Nobody would be excited about Kenny Pickett if you're black. <laughs> nobody. Hey, Kenny Pickett is a really good guy. No, he's, I don't like, care. He's a nice guy. I'm not here to talk about nice guys. We all thought Deshaun Watson's a nice guy. Now I'm sure. Look, look, you're gonna go, you're gonna take us down a road that will be <laughs> the longest off ramp in the yeah, history of true. off ramps. We're right. gonna have time. I, can, I, can I don't I get, know that I everybody knows it's true though. Yet. Yeah, I know you. Do. I know I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna ask a serious question. Gee, you know I'm right. Yeah, hey, hey, listen, yeah. hey, we, we're gonna. <laughs> We, we dap you up. Right. Hey, uh, uh, by the way, uh, Didi, what's going on with this Lamar Jackson situation? Oh, yeah. Is, is he going to get the bag? And when I mean the bag, I mean, is it going to be Josh Allen bag money? Or is, is, is are they trying to give him a little tear? Even under- the Joku money. They, yeah, the Joku <laughs> money. Guys, this is the most bizarre situation. And we know that Lamar Jackson doesn't have a traditional agent, that he and his mom, who, you know, his mom had him as a teenager. They're as tight as can be. They're our unit. They don't have a traditional agent. But the Ravens can't negotiate with Lamar's mom because she's not registered with the NFLPA. So they basically need to negotiate with the player. Mm. And the player's not interested in negotiating right now. I mean, Eric DaCosta is on the record saying, we're ready to do a deal. We'll do the deal when Lamar feels some urgency to get it done. And right now, Lamar has no urgency to get it done. He's not sitting here saying, well, I need to protect myself. And I'll tell you this. This is really interesting. I've talked to two general managers around the league who think that even though Eric DaCosta wants to get a deal done and is saying everything publicly that he wants to get a deal done, both of these GMs have told me they think this actually benefits the Ravens that Lamar Jackson doesn't have this urgency because they think the Ravens shouldn't commit the amount of money that they're ready to commit to Lamar Jackson. Wait Let's a second. Wait a second, Aditi. Year. Are you saying a couple of old white guys don't think Lamar Jackson should be? I'm making everything <laughs> racial. <laughs> no, you know what? I, a couple Aditi, of white guys Aditi, think Lamar's a flash in the plan. Guys. I know. Stop he's on a going crusade. There, he's, on Stop a, he's on a crusade. Stop it. Is but Bill Polian one of those Aditi, guys? To your point, <laughs> it's one of those deals where if 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 the extension takes time and he balls out, they'll happily write the big check. But right. there are a lot of G- a lot of GMs across the NFL that yeah. just aren't sure that Lamar Jackson's game is sustainable. Can he stay healthy? Exactly. Can he keep playing that way? Exactly. And it's tough. Bull, we and can he about keep the him Bengals. moving as a passer? Uh, those are yes, the same teams yes, who got it from the forty-yard line. Let's get at Nick Field <laughs> no, goals Bull, to take the but points. Bull, the fact of the matter yeah. is. He set such a ridiculously high bar. And he wasn't good last year. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. And now, so now. He was give you hurt. That. You know, yeah. last he was hurt, year, but he was hurt. He was hurt all year. But I don't, was was very, I don't give Baker a pass. I don't give Lamar a pass. No, he doesn't That's get it. a pass. He was yeah. hurt. We know that. But he yeah. wasn't the same guy. He wasn't. And if, right. you're, if you're the Ravens, first of all, you're furious at the deal that the Browns gave Deshaun Watson. Yeah. Because yeah. now, if you're in Lamar Jackson and you're watching this, you're going you're gonna to want the same kind of thing. And 100%. if I'm if I'm the Ravens, I I don't even know if Lamar is if you can replicate that year after year after year. And at what point does it become an absolute non-starter that he can no longer be that guy? Because we're all as you get older and you're still trying to do things that you could when you were 23 and 24 yeah. after taking the hits that he's taken. I don't know that he can continue to play at that level, Aditi. 
and they have no well, wide Well, here's one thing that I would say, and I think that Lamar Jackson is a little bit more in the mold of a Josh Allen or even a Tom Brady to say he doesn't need the entire bag. I mean, the guy is as right. competitive okay. as he gets. All he ever talks about is winning a Super Bowl. Josh Allen knew if I take everything, if I take 70% of the cap, I'm not getting teammates to play with. Sure. I'm not getting the support around me that I need. It's the same way Tom Brady was never the highest paid quarterback. Okay. Lamar Jackson is more of that mind. And I think he's smart enough to recognize that there are other ways to make money. You know, if you win, everybody eats. It's kind of like Brady made so much money on endorsement deals. Lamar Jackson has a clothing line. He's willing to do other things. So I don't know that he's sitting there and saying, I need to get the most guaranteed money that's ever been promised to anybody in the National Football League. Mm -hmm. I think he's thinking, I need yeah. a team around me. Well, if he's smart, that's the way he'll play it. Aditi, I know we have Thanks to let Aditi. you go because you're up against it, but thank you so much. We'll see you Thursday, thank you. right? You're thank back you. Thursday? Yep. Wait, every, Tuesday, every Tuesday and Thursday. Aditi, thank you. Always the voice of reason. I knew she'd come in and settle Bye. that in Joku thing. Thank I you, knew Aditi. she would. She straightened you out. I, 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 I see. She uh, settled out. Yes, yeah, she did. It was hard to watch. I, it was three against one before she it came in the room. Mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Now yeah. it's five against one because Aditi counts yeah, for two. two. Plus true. the public and Twitter, they all agree with us too for yeah. the most part. And Twitter's never wrong. One gif agreed with you. Just one gif. <laughs>